What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the El Nur Abduraimov versus Manuel Correa fight. They recently just fought over in Vegas in the undercard of the Canelo versus Bivol fight. The undercard is currently going on right now and it's actually being shown live here on YouTube. If you just go to the official YouTube channel of the zone and you can watch the whole entire pre free preliminary card, not part of the pay per view card. And obviously, when it's time for pay-per-view, which I think starts around 8 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, you, you know you have to buy the pay-per-view on the zone in order to continue watching. Uh, but anyway, uh, this fight was a fight. Going into it was a fight between two undefeated fighters, Elnur Abdurraimov and Manuel Correa. And the fight lasted two rounds with Elnur Abdurraimov winning by TKO. And it was a very dominant win from Ilnur Abdurraimov. I honestly wasn't expecting that. I expected more from Korea. I thought Korea was going to do better than <laughs> what he did. Uh, he looks sluggish in there. I think it's mainly because of Ilnur's ability to land punches even through the guard of Korea. Uh, he was, and also that southpaw stance. I feel like Korea probably couldn't figure out that southpaw stance. Korea would just kept getting hit with clean punch after clean punch, downstairs, upstairs. It just goes to show the levels between the two of fighters. And Elnur is obviously levels ahead compared to Manuel Korea. And uh, yeah, Elnur looked accurate, strong, fast. And uh, you know, I, I give him a ton of credit for this win. Very, very good win for Elnur Abdurraimov. And with this win, he improves to 9-0. and BoxRec has yet to update it. Let me refresh real quick. Oh, they finally updated it. Um, yeah, he improves to 9-0. and Eight wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. 27 years old now, so he needs to step it up and, you know, uh, fight some big names right now at 130 pounds. Can he be world champion? Only time will tell. I think it's just a matter of who he fights, when he fights them, and hopefully he steps up in competition after this fight. This fight was carried for eight rounds. He should be fighting 10 rounders. I think he's ready for 10 rounders. Uh, so hopefully his next fight will be scheduled for 10 rounds. And he gave uh, Korea his first loss going into this fight. Korea was 11-0. and And now if I refresh it, it's 11-1. and um, Tough loss, man. Honestly, I really did expect more from Korea. But he, he was just getting hit way too much. Went down like once or twice, I think. Um, and he just kept getting hurt. And... Uh, yeah, he, he, he looked slow and sluggish compared to Elnur Abdurraimov. Definitely a very, very good win for Elnur Abdurraimov, honestly. Very, very good win. And can Korea bounce back from this? Maybe. I mean, he, he, he was fighting like in club fights over in uh, Miami, over in uh, Florida. Um, this was a big opportunity for him to show his skills in front of a lot of people, in front of a lot of eyes on, on the zone. But uh, obviously, he, he fell short and uh, got stopped, got knocked out, uh, suffered his first loss. Uh, maybe he can rebound against lower tier fighters, but in the world level fights, um, I don't think Korea is cut out for it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, if you saw the fight, again, it's here on YouTube. You can watch it on The Zone. Uh, undercard's going on right now. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.